in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to save you from something, and that is the skipping brush. So we can make this brush smoother in two ways. Number one is spacing, and number two is smoothing. We need both of them. This skipping thing that you see happening, where the brush almost like skips ahead every time, that is actually a brush setting called spacing. If we go up to Window, down to Brush Settings, we can pull open the Brush Settings panel. Inside of here, at the very bottom of all this complicated stuff, is something called spacing. I like to just turn that down to 1%, and that pretty much makes my brush completely smooth. You can see a preview of what your brush is going to look like there at the bottom, so you can really space it out if you want, but I just take it all the way down. Now when I click and drag with this brush, it is nice and smooth. No longer do I have all the skips. Now another way to actually make your brush smooth, if I just delete out this background layer really quick. Um, so for instance, if I was drawing out here, you know, it's just kind of going to go exactly with what I'm doing. Uh, so if I was trying to draw a letter, like let's draw the letter G or something, it's very uh, not smooth, right? It's the exact drawing that I did with my mouse. Well, there's something called smoothing up here, and you can actually do smoothing up to 100%. So if we did, I'm going to do 75% smoothing. And what that will do is kind of allow you to make some mistakes with your mouse, but kind of keep a smooth line going. You'll see that as you click and draw, you're kind of going to stay ahead of the smoothing. But it's really helpful to keep uh, your brush stroke a lot more smooth than what you did over here, like with just 0% smoothing. And like I said, you can go all the way up to 100%, but you can see the difference. So when you're trying to do something like, for instance, when I'm trying to do, maybe I'm just drawing like an arrow or something, it's really easy to get a nice smooth curve. But if it was at zero, it would just be like literally the arrow that I've drawn. And you can see how things like this start to happen. Like any little mistake with your mouse will show up if you don't have smoothing turned on. So between those two options, the spacing and the smoothing options, it is, uh, those, those are really nice. And especially that spacing option. I don't think a lot of people know that. And a lot of times default, it'll space out all your brush strokes uh, and they'll, they'll basically look like this which is not fun. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below.